On everybody, it's Jet Central coming back with some breaking NFL news that just went down like 20 minutes ago. So the Jacksonville Jaguars just acquired defensive tackle Marcel Darius from the Buffalo Bills, ex-Pro Bowler. Huge trade. Huge, huge trade. I was not expecting this like, you know, a Pro Bowl, a former Pro Bowl player to be traded on like a random Friday night, uh, you know, two days before Sunday, you know, two days before game day. I mean, what a, what a, this came out of nowhere. It honestly did. You know, so the Jacksonville Jaguars got Marcel Darius from the Buffalo Bills and the Bills got in exchange for Darius. They got a sixth round pick for 2018 that I think has the possibility of changing to a fifth round pick depending on some cert, you know, on uh, certain variables, but uh, wow, huge, huge trade news. Uh, I know I was texting with my uh, with my buddy Dalton over at UCF Jaguar. Uh, I know he's gonna have a video up tonight regarding it, if not already. Um, so huge news for him, huge huge news for his team. Go check out his channel if you don't already know it. Uh, it's UCF Jaguar. Anyway, huge trade. I mean, I can't even. Uh, I I just wasn't expecting this whatsoever. I mean, it, talk about just random. You know, on a Friday night, a Pro Bowl player being traded, especially for you know a sixth round draft pick. Um, one thing I want to kind of bring up is Darius's uh, contract situation. You know, you look at Calais Campbell; he's on a big deal. Um, you have to assume that, you know, you have to have some money left over for Jalen Ramsey and these guys. I mean, I know they're young; I know they're still on the rookie deals, and they're not going to be free agents for a long time. But you don't want to be tied down with long, lingering uh, contracts. I know um, the guy that they got from the Denver Broncos. I think two years ago or it could have been last season, uh, the defensive tackle. Uh, he's on a big deal. Um, I know Allen Robinson is a, uh, is a free agent to be, I believe at the end of this, at the end of this season. So, uh, the contract information is going to be really interesting to kind of dive into and check out, uh, at least regarding the, you know, the Jaguars cap room and stuff. What, what are they going to do with their money? Who are they going to go after? Are they going to be able to re-sign Robinson if they can't franchise tag him? So, you know, definitely something to look into there as far as, you know, schematically and how he fits on the, the Jacksonville Jaguar team. You know, you look at that Jacksonville Jaguar defensive line specifically, and they have studs all across it. You know, Dante Fowler, former third overall pick in the whole draft. Uh, just like, you know, Calais Campbell, he's on a big deal. Uh, I know they have Yannick... Uh, and Gakwe, I think is how you pronounce his name. He's an end rusher. He's been pretty productive out of Maryland. I did like him at Maryland, but I did not think he was going to have this much um, pop, I guess, coming you know this early in his NFL career. I did not see that coming whatsoever. He's a speed demon. He's good at getting after the passer. Um, Malik Jackson is the guy's name from Denver. So they have him as well. And, I mean, you know, you look at that Jacksonville Jaguar defensive line, it, it's awesome. I mean, they get after the quarterback. They stop the run. And I mean those. That's just one unit of the Jacksonville Jags. Great defense. I mean their secondary is unbelievable with Gibson and Ramsey and uh, Boye and these guys. So Boye is another big contract. I forgot to mention. So uh, they got Barry Church too. I mean I know he's on a uh, decent sized deal. So man, th yeah, I I really have to dive into this whole the the whole cap room situation for the Jacksonville Jags probably after this video, but. You know, regarding the move, I think it can only help. You know, obviously, he's when he plays, when he plays like he wants to be there in regards to Darius, he's a game changing player. Like I mentioned earlier, we all know he's a Pro Bowl caliber player. Um, obviously, he was a great player for Buffalo early on, and then things started happening when Rex Ryan got hired. You know, I guess he didn't want to play in the, th the weird 3 4 defense. Um, and Rex, <clears throat> Rex kind of made him to, and supposedly the, the, uh, the system was too complex for him. That's what he said. Um, and then obviously Rex was fired and, uh, McDermott comes in and supposedly they still weren't happy or he wasn't happy with his role. And, uh, obviously he was on a huge contract. So the Buffalo Bills front office had a decision to make. They acquired a six round pick for him, which I think is a little low to be honest, but in regards to the contract and Everybody, everybody knowing that, I guess, Darius wanted out of Buffalo, you know, I guess you could kind of sit there and say, look, let's let's just take what we can get for him. Uh, but, you know, looking at the Jets trade with Sheldon Richardson, they got a productive wide receiver in Jermaine Curse and a second uh, round pick 
for Sheldon Richardson entering his last season of the, or entering his yeah entering his last season of his deal. Um, he, he, you just figured that you could get more for Darius, but um, anyway, I mean I know it can move up to a fifth, but I just still feel I feel like a third round a third round pick would be a nice trade off. But uh, anyway, I think the Jaguars got a steal. You know, they they got a Pro Bowl potential player for a sixth round pick. You can't get much better than that. Yes, they do have to take on his big contract, but and yes, they do have to kind of you know I guess convince him to play or get him I guess hyped up to play some football. But in the grand scheme of things, you know, big picture, what do they do? They got a Pro Bowl caliber player for a future sixth round pick that can move that can potentially move higher up to a fifth round pick. So um, I like the move from Jacksonville's end. I don't necessarily understand it from Buffalo's end. I know that he wanted out. I just feel like you could you could get, you could have gotten at least a little bit of a higher pick, maybe at least a fourth, at least shoot for a fourth. So that's kind of where my mind is on it. Let me know down in the comment section what are your guys' thoughts on this trade. Totally not expecting on a Friday night. Who would have thought? Uh, and like I said before, go check out my buddy UCF Jaguars channel. Uh, any Jaguar fans watching this video, you will not be disappointed if you guys already don't know it. So uh, that's the video. Marcel Darius is a Jaguar.